you let me straight to the fall. I'm broken, I'm so trying to skin and bone. A few years ago, I reacted to a cooking video from a guy named Cooking with Jack. But since that was a Thanksgiving themed video, and it's almost Thanksgiving, I decided to go back and watch what is possibly one of the weirdest titled videos I've ever seen because apparently Jack is cooking this turkey in a trash can. So if you want to learn how to make your Thanksgiving dinner taste like absolute trash, we're gonna watch this video. I think there's a few other Thanksgiving videos he made that we're gonna be reacting to. Mainly because this is safer to react to than some of the other content I've been reacting to recently. We're gonna be cooking a turkey. Yeah! Yeah. Everybody likes barbecue turkey. Yeah, coming up Thanksgiving. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Oh, I forgot on. to put the coals in. Well, how are we going to cook the turkey if we put the coals in? You know what? I don't like this way, anyways. <laughs> Check this out. All right, we got a new way. That's what these are for. Jack never has a fire extinguisher. Otherwise, only when this guy comes around with his freaking trash can. They're really trying hard on this skit, as whoever is holding the camera is trying so hard to keep it straight. <laughs> We're gonna do trash can turkey. Talking about American institution. Trash can turkey is the way to go. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's always in the Thanksgiving story. The pilgrims come over, kill the Native Americans, and then they take the trash cans to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Wonderful. And what is that? Like tinfoil thing sticking out? That looks like a tinfoil, I can't, YouTube will get mad if I say the word. But you don't know what that looks like. I'm so fucking tired. Then we put a wood stake in the ground. I, I think metal stake would be better, but we got a wood stake. Then we wrapped it in foil. I'm sorry, but why is this guy running Jack's show? This is currently not cooking with Jack. I'm just saying. Okay, one thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna mess around. Some people say it takes an hour. Some people say eight to nine minutes per, per pound, but we're not messing around. What we did was we drilled a hole. I don't know if you can see it. There's a hole right there, and then basically our thermometer is going to go through there. See that? And we're going to put it right into the turkey. So we're strictly not doing it by time, but by temperature. Why not both? I would say maybe both works? Listen, I'm no professional chef here, but I don't know. Jack isn't either, so... We got a free-ranged, all-natural, Harmony Farms turkey. Yeah, this thing's going to be awesome. If, you've, if you buy those butterball things in the market, you are missing out so much because they are so full of different chemicals and and uh, steroids. steroids, man. Yeah, steroids to help them grow. Jack really had to help him on the wood he was looking for. But hey, if you buy a butterball, man, you are missing out. Cook your turkey in the trash can because you're also missing out. Why have it be in an oven? when it can taste like last week's juicy you threw away. I, I'm, I'm focusing on how, how I'm gonna get my oil on here. You're getting your oil on, dude. That's a new phrase. <laughs> I'm oiling up my bird. <laughs> they thought that was the greatest joke ever, didn't they? And I always oil you know? the bird too, so that the seasoning sticks really nice. It'll hold Betcha. better. I'm gonna stick that seasoning. In fact, speaking of seasoning, the best gourmet seasoning it's the best you've ever tasted. Oh yeah. You can order that online if you guys want. TheBestSauces.com, check it out. This dude is getting the seasoning everywhere. It's literally all over the table if you look carefully. This is Jack's only contribution to the video is his seasoning being used. And I just gotta say, you know you're not supposed to, I don't know, touch raw meat and then, you know, trying to be sanitary with the gloves and then use those same gloves that you just oiled raw turkey with and then touch, <laughs> touch that seasoning. Unless they're planning to use that entire seasoning. Okay, now I'm going to wire these wings so that they don't flop around inside and touch the side of the trash can. And you're a wing nut like I am, right? Oh, I love wings. Dude. Wings are the best part of the bird. Dude, look at that turkey. It is not fully seasoned whatsoever. You used all that seasoning and you didn't even get it fully on the turkey it's clumped up and I know he still hasn't changed his gloves because he has a seasoning on the gloves what is this what is this plant here 
This is all rosemary. That whole, that whole thing is rosemary? Yes. And it is Are you serious? Wonderful tasting. And let me see. Mm, mm. Look at that. Take a whiff. Take a whiff. Ah. Isn't that awesome? You could smell that. Yeah, it's so all we'll, rosemary, guys. Yeah, we'll take the rosemary and... We get it. It's rosemary. Dude, they love that rosemary so fucking much. And I'm glad they do. <laughs> because they use the same gloves to touch the rosemary plant. Cram it on there. Getting my bird. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Dude, I love it. this video's coming out flawless. Look at, Look at you. Saving it all. Get all that goodness in there. We're going to stick a thermometer in. And let's see, the best part to stick it is right into the leg. My bird's upside down. Oh, yeah, this is flawless. All right. Jack's standing there with a trash can, had someone's phone. There's a poop poop in the background. Absolutely flawless. There we go. Hold on, I'm running yet. Oh, look at that. That's the most Jack has done in this video so far, just letting you guys know. Is it supposed to be upside down now? There's an no trash can cooking export. I ask some possums outside. Is this the right thing you're supposed to do? So we're, we're chimneying. We're going to chimney to do the top fire. Get that started. Then the rest we're just going to light up. Something like that. The best advice when you're gonna use fire is from a guy saying something like that. That's why I didn't thought that he was dropping them on the ground, but apparently they're supposed to drop them on the ground? This does not look like the proper way to do it. I'm sorry, I have never cooked with a trash can, never planned to, but by god, what is he doing? Okay. Light it up, dude! <laughs> Stand back! It's gonna light up. It, it takes a minute. I wanna see if it'll light all the way around. It will. By itself? Or do you have to help it? Yeah, help it a little bit. Look at this. Jack, you are doing nothing in this video. He's just acting like a child. Dancing around. Asking questions. Is it gonna light the other way around? I hope it's gonna light the other way around. And they just have the other one on fire next to it. See that, but we're at 181. This thing's skyrocketing. Don't so we think the thermometer came out of the turkey. I'm sorry. The thermometer was obviously gonna come out of that turkey. You just drew it in. Stab it and hoped for the best. This is like watching your dad and your uncle cook. Don't so we think the thermometer came out of the turkey. That's the only thing I There's no way the temperature is jumping that fast. It was just a few minutes ago, it was 170. So we think that the thermometer is failing. And we've only been on for 47 minutes. So we may have an epic fail here, guys. Okay, so, so Lou and I discussed this. What are we gonna do, right? Um, this is what we're gonna do. We're going by time. We think that n we've never seen a video where they use the thermometer. It's almost as if you didn't use anyone else's advice for doing this besides your friend's advice, hoped for the best, and the best didn't work out. Thank God you were timing that. Oh God, this is gonna be a disaster. I'm rooting for them though, I'm rooting for them. Especially if this is his actual Thanksgiving dinner. All of the kids are gonna be disappointed if they don't get their trash can turkey. Okay, so we went by time. We removed the temperature gauge. Go ahead. Now we're just uh, clearing the way. Try not to, yeah. Getting the top cleared. Then we're gonna rake all the coals away. I wonder if a rake is an actual, you know, kitchen utensil, like all the fine kitchens. In France has, um, Gordon Ramsay always has a wake in his kitchen. Okay, everybody, here we go. Drum roll. Hello, turkey. Ooh, look at that. Mm. We are good. Ooh, look, well. Mm. Oh, burnt the top. I'm glad we pulled it when we pulled it. Yeah, burnt the top a little bit, huh? Yeah, just the top, you know. Not everything else. My question is, when did they get the tin foil out from under the trash can without lifting the trash can? You know, I, I'm just wondering that one real quick. Maybe the bone part is where all the seasoning clump together. We're gonna remove some of the burnt off the top and then uh, take a look at the meat. Okay, everybody, there you go, right there. That's the beautiful bird. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Burnt the top over there, but look at the rest of the birds, it just looks amazing. Taking off after bone parts does make it look better, I'll give it that. 
I don't know why they kept some, but you know, my real question is, is that blood all over it? We never saw them put anything red on that turkey, and there is a lot of red on it. So either that's blood, they do some sauce on after to make it look better. That's either, you know, scraping some stuff off. It has to be something or it's blood all over that turkey. Which I, I can't even imagine how if you burn it, blood can still even be in it. So look at the water. We just sprayed water on the ground. It's not only smoking, but it's bubbling. Yeah, so it's when, boiling on the ground. So when you do one of these trash can turkeys, find the best part in your yard, the nice green area. And burn the heck out of it. Or don't do this, and you won't have to worry about your rosemary going up in flames. Oh my god. They ruined his yard. They absolutely ruined his yard. Jack is probably so happy this was not done in his yard. <laughs> Jack, this is part of the video you probably could have cut. With all this editing, you, you probably could have cut this. He nailed it. I don't care that we burnt the skin. The meat is all that matters. It's flawless. Lou just got done carving it all, and it looks absolutely moist and delicious, and we're going to make uh, hoagies out of this. Toasted the bread with garlic and Parmesan cheese and butter. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Fresh produce waiting right here, all sliced up. They can cut to this, but they couldn't cut the other part. Okay. I don't know if garlic even goes with turkey? That's, that'll be interesting to try. I'm glad they enjoyed the meal, though. I just wanted to show you my red onion, beautiful tomato, green lettuce, beautiful turkey breast with the best hot barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. I would say this. Jack, at the end of the day, it doesn't look too bad. I probably would eat that. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I was about to say try this for Thanksgiving. Don't try this for Thanksgiving. And make sure to have a good night. I'm done with hitting your wall. Short notice, I just gotta let you know. You let me straight to the fall. I'm broken, I'm still trying skin and bones. You let